mean, to be honest. It's, it's both. It's a real <laughs> It's just the whole scene there, it's just, it's just real, you know, like you're not going to get this anywhere else. Everybody, gather now, this boy's got the ladder after you. Because I'm not gonna talk. For me, it's all about feel. Well, I feel we're definitely a performing band. We play live, like, that cell thing. Yeah, like. We just, when we play live, we just go create, like, we just play as hard as you can, as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy playing gigs because personally I feel really connected to the audience and the atmosphere that they bring is just exhilarating yeah. for me when, when I'm on stage. You know, it's a great feeling you knowing get, that they're happy listening to your music that you're playing. Yeah, also, you know, you just get a massive high, like, from playing. <laughs> I think people enjoy coming to gigs because, well, it's a good place to just hang out with friends as well as listen to some good music that people are putting their effort into. It's kind of like a party almost. Yeah, it's pretty party vibes. It's, it's full of vibe to meet up with people. Like when I come out, I want to have fun. The main difference between the underage and overage scene, um, as I said, I haven't really been to many underage, so I can't really s speak for that. I, gu I guess with the, the overage, if it's a licensed venue, um, you're going to get people going there because they can have a drink there, you know. So you're probably going to get more people. Underage, um, you've got a, I guess you've got a good audience, but it's probably more of a struggle to promote it and get people there. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to say, really. Our gigs tend to be a little bit more sedate, maybe, than the underage gigs. We don't get much um, mosh pit action. Hard to say. Um, whereas you guys probably do. Negative things at gigs is, you know, like sometimes when people are a bit too drunk and maybe yeah, like there can be fights that start up, maybe, you know, it's just like any other party and stuff. And also if the cops turn up, that's. Yeah, you don't want to get gig usually down. Uber. And like, yeah. And yeah, when people yeah. just go there just to like smoke outside or just like get really like yeah. screwed up and then. Not to the music, they're like, oh, let's go and hang at a gig. We're not going to the gig. Yeah, not like <laughs> just hang outside and just like yeah. cause a ruckus, basically. It's, yeah. Like, it's still got to be fun for the people who want to enjoy the gig, you know. When people hang around outside, it's just 
Right. What are you doing here? It's pointless, sort of. That's They're about to out. When there's so many people outside, it attracts the yeah, unwanted exactly. audience, which yeah. is the police. Yeah, yeah. people yeah, sneaking true. in is a big thing as well. you got to support the artists, because, like, that's what they're for, <laughs> too. Yeah. yeah. For a good gig. It's, it is actually all the audience. Like, if the audience is having a good time, then... That's, no, what more could you ask for? Yeah, yeah you know, like, like... If I'm playing some music and nobody likes the music, why should I be playing it, you know? The music scene in Auckland, I think, is actually, like, really good just for, like, the un like people who are under 18, even still, because it's just a small network of, like, a couple of bands. And then there's also some of the main bands everybody goes to watch, you know, Desperate Models, Charlie Freak, Fields. And, uh, you know, like, it's just, like, they all know each other. And it's just, you know, yeah, it's, it's like, pretty cool. And like, the people, all the people, there's some people who come to gigs, just the same person in it every single gig. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, there's always going to be like somebody that you have seen before. Yeah. And it's the scene, like, it, it, you can socialize really easily in yeah. gigs. Yeah. And mm. you get to know people and learn more about, you know, mm. the, the scene. It's pretty communal, I would say. Yeah. It's like a community. Like, I, I know Tom, yeah. he's right there. And I've met Keegan before. And you know, I've met I've met a lot of these people. Yeah, it's like a like a little community of fans. This is quite enjoyable. Yeah, it's like a nice get together. Uh, I think technology definitely has. Like helped, like put gigs out there so and people know about them. Like social media, de like definitely is a big one. Like you know, Facebook. Like, yeah. The, like, an event the only reason people know about Joe says no is just because of Facebook. Like this was only put on two weeks ago. Yeah. And you couldn't do that if it was like five. Yeah. Years. It's like what, like two hundred and forty people. Yeah. Coming on Facebook or something yeah. like that. So it's good for quick stuff, but um, you don't want people to lose interest at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it has its ups and downs. At the Pretty same much. time though, I Cause... think that social media also has a negative effect, seeing that with like internet and piracy, people almost think as if free music is a right and people are more reluctant to pay music or pay money for music. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as say twenty years ago, a gig would have I think more people would have been inclined to come even if they didn't know the bands. But now Obviously, there are, you can have a bit of reach because of social media, but I think those only who would know you and your band would actually come, rather than yeah. like just having a poster somewhere and then there's like, oh, it's a gig, I'm going to go to that. It's, so it's I think not like so there are equal sides, I mean, good and bad, or what of what technology has done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could get thousands of fans. I think. Relatively inexpensively, and and um, you can get your music out there for sure. So the big break's possible for for a lot more people these days. You know, you don't you're not required to be in part of EMI or Sony or something to actually get out there. <laughs> don't necessarily have to enjoy the music to enjoy the gig or even come to gigs you know because I think that the atmosphere the crowd brings is another is another thing entirely and then you could just like the you could just like the atmosphere of being in a crowd just jumping around just dancing around and all that because you could hate the music but you yeah. could still like the people that are there. You could still like the way that like the yeah, like it. like um like the energy everyone's got. I think it's just um a good thing for anyone any age. You can be like super old, or you can be like twelve, and just go to a gig and just like meet new people. And whether it's someone's famous or not, it. doesn't matter. Yeah, totally. It's just a memorable experience. It's a good time at the end of the day.